Ja. I love you. I love you too. It, uh, it's recorded now. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I'm not talking, Mr. Camera Audience. And I am sorry I am not fully prepared. Okay, so the last video we made was actually the longest video I have ever made uh, in anything. And it's actually two days, two days after the exact same thing happened. Two days ago I made a video that was one hour and twelve minutes and up to that point that was the longest I had ever made a video. And where's my stuff? Okay so up to that point that was the longest I ever made a video and now uh, the longest I have ever made a video is one hour and 35 minutes. Wow. Uh, and I, I give myself a pat on the back for that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Although it would be nice if someone actually watched it. <laughs> I fully expect no one to watch the whole thing. Aww. No, it's okay. I'm, an important part of doing what I do, at least for me in my situation, is not caring that people don't watch. I don't feel 
sick. I, I just feel like um, my, you notice I'm uh, basically practicing the notes. Mm -hmm. It feels like completely divorced from music. It feels, it's like, uh, like I'm training. And that's good, right? It's good to train. Yeah. But it feels completely non-musical. Okay. I don't understand why. Um, uh, I don't know. Like, why does it feel non-musical? Okay, like, you know, for example, at least, I know you're way more advanced at math than me, so maybe this analogy won't work, but for me, when I learned math, like, let, let's just say like addition and subtraction, mm -hmm. how you do that is you do it, you do the same thing, or variations on the same theme over and over again. Mm -hmm. And it's just a process of repetition. Yeah. Um, Fuck. That's what this feels like. And that feeling feels like the opposite of what playing music feels like. Does that make Yeah, okay. Yes. Well, you know what, a better analogy would be that it's like ballet when we have to do like one step over and over. That's not like dancing. Yeah. I don't know ballet. I know you don't. <laughs> <coughs> okay. But but that being said, that doesn't mean I'm doing things wrong. No, it does not. It just means you you have to get the basics down. You have to know the alphabet before you can spell. You have to know how to spell before you can write poems. Someone told me to write a poem, and I wrote a poem, and it was terrible. <laughs> Yeah, it was this guy on Facebook, and he said, you seem to have very good diction, and I respect your, uh, I don't know, he was flattering me, mm -hmm. and I didn't know, I, I didn't really know who, who he was, like, I, I, I mean, he wasn't a complete stranger, but, um, anyways, I, I said, fair enough, I'll try to write a poem. <laughs> If someone came up to you and said, uh, I, okay, I'm, I'm going to stop trying to make metaphors. <laughs> okay. I love you, though. I remember for a long time I used to, like, come up with a metaphor or simile for, like, pretty much every argument I ever had. <laughs> and so did I. I, I. I went through a phase like that, too, actually. <laughs> I just don't want to feel completely responsible. You are not. <laughs>
Do you think they enjoy watching uh, their suggestions become manifest? Probably. Hey, the super mutant says there is safety in mindfulness. That is odd. Yes. Well, I guess they have super brains too. <laughs> well, no, that's actually the difference. Most of them go crazy with rage, and that's why they keep trying to kill you. Yeah. But he. He, he, because he, or it could have been a she before, um, used to be, or it was like one of the prototypes. Um, they like screwed up. Okay. Was uh, he or she a volunteer? No. No, who, nobody was volunteers. <laughs> acknowledge my presence, I can tell you a whole bunch of things. Okay, I forgot. Oh, okay, I forgot. I think, <coughs> excuse me, I took a Klano um, before I started practicing to just now. Okay. I took it like half an hour before, so it should be in full effect right now. And I also drank a can of cola, which I usually drink to counter the, uh, the effect of the Klano that makes you either tired or stupid. <laughs> okay. But I think basically the Klano is more powerful than the cola I drank. And maybe that's why I feel weird. Maybe. Oh my god! Oh my god! They're gonna get the freaking awesome robot thing! That's a giant robot! They're gonna get it up and running! Oh my god! Do you see the power my guitar has over your video game? Yes.
stop this for now because it's a good stopping point and start making my Voter Everybody character. Okay. Is that that? Yes. Were you hoping I was going to stop playing? No. Okay. I'm playing guitar. I don't need the PlayStation. I know. But maybe you wanted to. I don't know. Like I said, I think I'm stoned or something. Okay. <laughs> but if you would like to say some things, I can maybe say some things. No. Noticed that before. Dr. Lee delivers you. Is that the traitor? No, no, that's the that's the good the good doctor. Who's the good doctor? She's the one who was working with Oh in the pet, the water thing? Yeah. I never noticed that before, it's her. Is there any romantic between your dad and Dr. Lee? I don't think so. For some reason, okay, I do it in order of when it was created, the, the things I practice. Mm -hmm. So I go from easiest to hardest, basically. And I don't know if that's a good idea <laughs> for, you know, learning things. What do you think? Um, I think it's, it's probably good. How do you do your bath? Um, depends. It's way too complex than that. Well, I don't really do it in that kind of, in any kind of, it's hard to tell from just looking at a problem whether it's going to be easy or hard. Okay. Do you do a different problem every single time? Yeah, I don't understand what you're asking, really. 
Like, for example, to use really basic math, say you were learning 2 plus 2 equals 4. Um, and say you had no idea that 2 plus 2 equals 4. And someone says to you, 2 plus 2 equals 4. It's the first time in your life you've heard it, and you're supposed to learn it. Mm -hmm. So that means, I don't know, pro probably you just write in the book 2 plus 2 equals 4 or whatever. Or I remember they used to have those blocks. You know, re remember the blocks to show you? No. In, in my school, what they did, they had these um, small cubes. And they would show us a cube. And they would say, this is one. And then they would... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Actually, I have this really odd memory from, from, um, grade two, where, um, some of the kids were playing with it, and one of the girls, Leslie, was like, Mrs. De Silva, Mark's playing with the thousands, and he doesn't even know his hundreds yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyways, like, in that sense, if you had, like, a question, would you work on it more than once, or do you solve it, and then... It's always a new question that you have to solve. I try to do new questions all the time, but like, um... You sometimes revisit? No, I try to do new questions on the same thing. Huh. Variations of the same yeah. problem. Okay, but you have subjects. Like, you said you're bad at physics, right? Mm hmm So, if you're doing... What are the other areas? What, what's an area that you're good at? Bio. Okay, so if you're doing bio and physics, uh, and you're doing them both in one study session, do you save the physics for last or for f first? Um, 